I'm Nigel Hinchliffe. I'm the De Director of Education at CCH. Um, thank you for this opportunity to speak to you today about our postgraduate courses. Um, I'm going to start, however, by giving some context and explaining a little about the global obesity situation, and then I'll go on to talk about the, the course itself. Um, so, um, right now we are, of course, in the midst of in the midst of a global coronavirus pandemic, which is having a terrible impact on people and, and countries around the globe. But as the COVID-19 pandemic starts to recede, hopefully over the next year or two, we'll still be left with another pandemic, that of obesity. It's not usually referred to in those terms because it's not an infectious disease. But nevertheless, um, obesity is a growing problem uh, affecting more and more people in more and more countries across the globe and governments and healthcare systems seem unable to really get to grips with it and start reversing those trends. Um, so as you can see, there are now estimated more than 650 million adults um, with obesity around the world and uh, the number who, who have excess weight, who are overweight or have obesity, um, uh, 2 billion, which is obviously a, a huge, huge number. Um, and, uh, obesity is no longer a disease of affluence. Originally, um, we saw high obesity rates in countries like the US, Canada and, and European countries, but it's now a major problem, a major public health issue in a, a, a wide range of countries, including, for example, Mexico, uh, most of the countries in the Middle East and parts of South America. And it's a growing problem in the two most populous countries in the world, India and, and China. So um, why is it really uh, a problem? Why do we need, why is it so important that we reverse the rising trend in obesity rates? I mean, after all, people come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And to have a large body size of itself is, is not the problem. The problem is the impact that excess body weight, uh, particularly abdominal fat, has on the health and well-being of people with obesity. So if we look at the cost of obesity, people with obesity have a greatly elevated risk of a number of diseases, including type 2 diabetes, which is, of course, a particular issue for people of South Asian heritage, and also heart disease, hypertension, certain cancers, osteoarthritis is a long list. And so the, the, the cost of this to uh, our health systems is absolutely huge, managing and, and treating these chronic conditions that are associated with obesity. And it also has a negative impact on the wider econ uh, economy. Uh, in terms of reduced productivity, increased illness and disability. And of course, the current, coming back again to COVID-19 pandemic, um, that has really brought into sharp focus the impact of obesity on health, because I'm sure you're probably aware that um, uh, obesity significantly increases the risk of hospitalization and death from COVID-19. So we all lose from obesity, and it should therefore be a priority for all governments and health authorities to help as many people as possible to achieve improved health through managing their body weight. And at CCH, we want to be part of that effort to tackle obesity by offering obesity care training for health professionals, which is severely lacking in the UK and probably in most countries around the world. So why are we failing? At CCH, we believe that the lack of training in obesity care is one of the major reasons we are failing to address the obesity crisis. Until very recently, the medical world and health professions had considered obesity to be simply about lifestyle choices, uh, not a health or medical problem. So if it's not a medical issue, it has no place in the medical curriculum or the nursing curriculum can be left to the dietitians and the exercise trainers. All you need to do is explain to people that they need to eat less and exercise more, and they'll then lose weight, and it's as simple as that. And a lot of health professionals still think along these lines. 
But of course, we now know that this doesn't work. Why not? Well, is it because people are just too lazy uh, to exercise and too greedy to moderate what they eat? Well, no, of course not, because if you think about it, if that were the case, then it would imply that we have a pandemic of laziness and gluttony rapidly spreading across the globe. The truth is, in fact, that obesity is a very complex condition. Over the last 40 years, if you think about it, the world has seen massive changes to our food supply, to our food environments, to our social environments, to our modes of transport, to our leisure activities, our working conditions, our levels of stress, and all these things affect our behaviors and our biology and can contribute to obesity. So we're now finally waking up to the reality, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, obesity is a very complex condition. It's a chronic relapsing disease that often involves dysfunctional appetite control, and it's very difficult to treat. And that's why at CCH, we've developed courses in obesity at master's level, because understanding obesity requires understanding and dealing with complexity, with contradictions, um, and you need to question current practice, you need to critique, interpret and apply the latest research. The other critical issue regarding obesity treatment is weight discrimination. Weight bias, as it's often known, or weight stigma, is rife throughout most societies, and people of large size are often ridiculed, looked down upon, and discriminated against, including in medical and health services. So an important part of obesity care is to understand that weight stigma, fat shaming, and discrimination does not work, and we need to develop a sensitive and compassionate patient-centered approach to obesity. And I'm just going to pause at this point because I think we were going to take another poll. <laughs>